And Mr. McIntyre, your rebuttal. As all of the candidates have agreed, financial affairs is certainly an area that needs to be looked at. However, there's one area that individuals have not mentioned, and that is the expectation of representatives that are currently enrolled in Student Government Association or those that will be enrolled in the upcoming years. And what I'm talking about is specifically um, when or if they are uh, supposed to have specific face time with their constituents, whether this be classroom visits or some sort of table within the lounges of the various buildings across campus so that their constituents can really put a face to the name and then uh, share their concerns and questions with their representatives. Secondly, uh, what is expected of these representatives as far as attendance goes? There are some representatives that are elected to the body and their attendance uh, is not necessarily positive. And what we really want is individuals serving in student government that want to be there and deserve to be there. And if we can better um, solve the expectational issues of representatives, then that area might be covered. And then finally, um, what expectations are there or what abilities are there for representatives to pass bills or resolutions within the general body of uh, committee? A bill or a resolution is uh, basically the voice of the entire student government association. And while it can only go so far, it does carry the weight of all of the elected representatives agreeing on something, or at the very least, two-thirds majority. Um, and then finally, there are constituency logs where representatives are required to attend various, or, uh, various events across campus. And this process could be streamlined to, so as to better assure that these constituency logs are completed and that um, they're actually done on, in time and that they're um, upheld each year, that the requirements for those are upheld. Thank you.